Okay. I have never been a fan of powder foundations just because I feel like they never looked like even or smooth on my skin. I liked being able to like blend out a liquid foundation, but um, my mind has been changed because this Wonder 2 Go Beyond powder foundation is amazing and I'm gonna put it on right now and you guys are gonna be able to see how one how like seamlessly it blends into your skin and two just like the amount of like light but like even beautiful smooth like finish that it has is just like I love it I can't get over it I've used it every day since I've had it and yeah I've definitely been converted to the powder foundation side after using this. Yeah, I got the medium range shade. Um, I It can be kind of tough shopping for makeup shades online because you can't like exactly color match your skin. But what has helped me is going on like, going on the actual like product website and looking, they'll usually have like pictures up to compare yourself to, um, to help you choose a shade. So I went with the medium range and it does, like I think it's a good match for me. like. I don't know. I'm not the tannest right now, though. I, like, it's too hot to go out and go outside and tan in Arizona. So I do think it will work for me, though, even if, like, my skin tone varies a little bit throughout the seasons. Um, it's sheer enough to, like, be able to match your skin tone without it being, like, exactly perfect. But I just take one of these big, like, my big flat, flappy brush. I don't know what you call this kind of brush, but I just... Um, circle it in the powder here and then okay I don't know if I should do this on my phone or my actual mirror but we'll see if I can do it like this I literally just like like this okay you can see already like you like just saw that like color go right into my skin um so like let me do half and you guys can see I usually like go over my eyelids and everything just so my whole face is like the same shade but I'm only gonna do half my face right now and you guys can see the difference okay wow okay you can just see it like it actually is a really really good match for me but this side has the foundation on it and then this side does not and my boyfriend just got home but yeah so this side has foundation on it this side does not and you can just see like how much more even my skin tone looks like it's just i don't know the finish is really beautiful it's not like a dewy foundation it's more of a matte look <laughs> Sorry, you have to go somewhere else. Go to the first floor. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I'm going to continue. My boyfriend just got home, and he's he forgot about my show, so he's going to watch it. Um, <laughs> I'll go ahead and do the other side, though, just so I can finish the show. Okay. But, yeah, you can see, like, there actually is a lot of pigment in this, but it's, like, sheer enough that, like, it doesn't look cakey on your skin. It just, like, blends right in. I actually do need to use, like, my little mirror because it's hard to see in that one. <laughs> do you want to tune into my show? <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Try, if you can, also when you're doing your foundation, try and, like, blend it up. Like, don't stop right here. Like, blend it over your ears a little bit. Otherwise, if it's, like, not an exact color match for you, it's going to look like you're going to have, like, a weird color break right here. And you don't want that. So I always, like, go up a little bit, which might seem weird, but that's what, that's what works for me. Okay. I am officially done with the foundation. Let me, like, go up close and you guys can see, like, how seamless and, like, 
just like even it looks. I love, I love, love, love this, this foundation. Like, and it keeps my skin feeling kind of like I struggle with oily skin. Um, and this really seems to help with that. Okay, moving on. So yeah, that was the Wonder 2 Go Beyond Foundation um, in the medium range. It is a really good match for me. Are you leaving now? Okay, come back soon. Okay. Anyways, sorry guys. Um, all right, moving on. Like I said, I kind of do my makeup in a weird order. I do foundation then concealer because I think if I do concealer first, when I put my foundation over it, it just kind of like, it doesn't like go on very well, you know? I don't know. I think I like the brightening effect of concealer. So I like to put it on after. Okay, when, when I said that I don't, think every product that I have here is like a solid 10 out of 10. I'm really, really picky with my concealers. Like uh, the consistency of them, the finish, like how well they blend, if they're tacky, like I'm really picky. So this, like I will use it, but like it's not my favorite and I'll show you why. Um, let me tag it up here real quick. Um, 